Hello, and this is the grand final of Repton 2 Volcano. Um, last level. I'm just about to teleport to level 20. Let me start off there, and so the first thing we've got to do is make our way up through that field of boulders and diamonds and leave a path back to that safe so we can get it after we've converted it to a diamond. So it's just a matter of working out where to leave the rocks balanced on top of bits of dirt so they don't fall on top of it. just need to work way across the top of the level. Here you need to leave that bit of dirt blocked in and not get that diamond yet because um, you need to let the rocks fall off to the right to uh, get at that. And here just clear a bit of space so you can let the uh, rocks immediately above fall into this Part and get access into the more interesting part of the level. Now here, you'll notice that's like sealed in as far as spirits are concerned. So that oh, glitch. So uh, yeah, that saves a bit of time later, so we don't have to wait for a spirit to go all the way around the whole level. And uh, here. Uh, just need to get this bit first, and uh, it's a difficult way to get access to the passages below. So I did it a bit wrong or differently to what I usually did, so stated. But the important thing is to be able to get to that skull and push those two rocks left without going past them. And then you can just push everything else left and leave that bit of dirt there to keep that rock in place. And here I'm just looking at the map to uh, switch to slow motion. So I really I thought there was no way I was going to complete the level um, we'll see later on at the end of it without using slow motion. So I thought it might, I might as well use it there because uh, that was a tricky bit of timing and had killed me a few times when I tried to avoid using slow motion. So I just wait for it to come back down and get that cage. And this one's a bit easier so I didn't bother with slow motion here. And he's going to come and get that cage there for us. So while I'm waiting, let's do a little bit of tidying up here. And this one will go into slow motion again because it's fairly crucial timing. Again, this one had killed me a few times when I tried it at full speed. I think you have to get it just after it's hit the left wall. Uh, back to normal speed and race the... Uh, Spirit back to there, which I couldn't get before because it was a safe. Now clear these rocks out of the way of the passage, the next passage. just need to work the way across the bottom of the level to the left. Yep. Noisy bikers are out again. Don't know if the microphone picked that up. If you've ever watched Captain Sparkles, you'd probably be thinking of Room Room now. Right here, 
gets a bit tricky. You know, it's important to leave that diamond, which is the rightmost one at the moment, until I dealt with those. And now I need to uh, get, get the uh, diamonds on the bottom layer. Until we're getting that far now, turn your attention back to the top. Uh, just keep getting the ones from the top um, until it's beginning to look as if you're in danger of blocking the bottom left ones. As you can see, we need to be able to get in there. But the rock on the far left needs to come down one step to the right and down, and make sure no other rocks fall to the bottom and block off the passage on the bottom left. Um, I think I was trying to work out what would happen if I went up compared to going under the rock to get the diamond first. Okay, navigated that successfully. And now I need to leave that bit of dirt there to um, get make a path for this spirit to the wall. So I'm going to have to first push the boulders at the right moment to uh, to get it into its uh, that sort of island thing below, which I've now connected to the wall, or will do, with um, these two boulders. Thanks to the bit of dirt I left earlier. Now that diamond and the two bits of dirt above it need to be kept because uh, they're important for dealing with the two rocks that would, would have fallen after I got that transporter and uh, I'm back out here so while I'm out here now's a good time to like, clear up the rest of the level and because I've got that teleporter out of the way, I don't need this passage anymore, so I can let the uh, those rocks fall down it. Get that one. start heading towards the uh, safe that is now a diamond. See, that's where I get that bit of dirt that was blocked in earlier. Uh, it's just a, a lot of sweeping now. checking I hadn't forgotten anything.
before I can get that teleporter, I want to um, go and clear out a little bit more of that area where the uh, spirit was, because um, while it will take a long time going around the level, I don't want to uh, give myself too much to do while waiting for it. So there, see why it was important to uh, leave that dirt and diamond because those rocks needed to be pushed over to the left with the others. Otherwise I would have gone down there and trapped me. But now I can get the teleporter and into that little room with the spirit. should have had time to go around there. It's heading off around the uh, top of the level. Uh, this is quite easy to deal with. to wait for it. Uh, going into slow motion, did that a bit early so it's uh, a bit of a long wait I'm afraid but I thought if I waited until I could see the spirit coming I was in danger of uh, not leaving myself enough time to you know, sort of get my hands back on the controls that sort of thing because usually by the time you can see a spirit it's too late. So. You know, I had to do this in slow motion because it's uh, quite you know, a bit of complicated manoeuvring uh, with the spirit right next to you. Because once this rock above me falls, we'll both be trapped in here together. And I actually uh, use the editor to make a sort of mock-up of this part of the level to practice and I did need to uh, run through that several times before I was confident of completing it. I'll just switch back to normal speed and I'm going to play all of the credits because um, I think the people that made this great game deserve to uh, have their names up shown here. Um, so yeah, do let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this because I can I think I mentioned earlier that I could uh, release the uh, put up videos of me doing the extra levels that no one else seems to have done in the message scenario so there's my time of 2 hours and 33 minutes and 3 seconds which isn't great but was enough to get me in the hall of fame Yeah, and um, yeah. Apart from those levels, yeah, I don't think it's worth really me doing the rest of rep of uh, message because the other levels have been done by several other people on the BBC Micro version, and uh, I think they've played it much better than I can. But um, I could be persuaded to do caverns because although there are two sets of videos for that I am um, they don't have commentaries so I think I I, I do prefer commentaries in my Repton videos so I hope you appreciate well you know I hope you like that I've done a commentary on mine so uh, Goodbye and thank you for watching. Yeah, what was that? <laughs>